That is really the goal is we want to take Iron Energy Gym and we want to make it into a franchise. There's so many students in Mindset Month that are crushing it. She's just a powerful human and I'm excited to be working alongside her more. Guys, like what are we doing here? Like what's going on? Because I'm just like pushing myself to build that account organically and I want my content to get to a point where it's like so good that it goes viral consistently. I want to get 200 people watching the documentary Watts premiere. That's the goal. All that information was just sitting in my brain and now it's now it's out. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Brian Mark coming at you with another episode on this channel. And in today's episode, I'm going to do a little bit of like a monologue and organize my thoughts because I'm working on a lot of projects and I'm going to talk to you guys about them in this video which is gonna help me streamline my thoughts so sit back relax and enjoy the episode let's go okay so first things first is let's talk about iron energy gym first thing on my mind um, so with the gym right now we essentially have been given the green light to open on April 8th pending the mandates lift and if I look at the government we government website everything on the government website essentially says that the passports are gonna be dropping on April 8th and I've been in contact with interior health the lady that that I've been in contact with says that as long as the mandate's left, she's gonna send an email on April 8th to the city of West Kelowna, let them, letting them know that she's approved our safety plan, which means that we're gonna get our business license back. So with the gym, everything is actually looking really good. The projects that we're working on at the gym right now, I just got the Castanet ads up and running today. They're officially online, which means that like we've got ads on Castanet. I'm gonna see if I can put some, one of the pictures here. So the ads on Castanet are up. The ads are gonna link to a type form and the type form is gonna be a way for us to contact them, anybody that's sees the ad that clicks the type form that wants to get 365 or 365 can do that. Also right now, currently promoting the documentary. So I've got our Instagram manager basically in there sending out messages, promoting the documentary and getting people to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I think if we get to 100 subscribers, that'd be cool. My goal is to have 200 people watching the actual documentary. So that's really the goal and that's the intention is to have 200 people watching the documentary and making sure that it's just like, it's popping. Like I wanna make sure that um, the documentary pops off. So my plan for that is we're gonna document launches tomorrow at 6 p.m. So I want to promote it all day and basically get people excited. From what I can tell, it looks like there's going to be 50 to 100 people there uh, just baseline. And so if I can really pump that up, one of the things I want to do is I want to go live on the Instagram and I want to record myself watching the documentary to encourage people to watch it. And I'm just going to say link in bio so that people can actually click on the premiere and watch it in the bio with us. And then while we're on the documentary, I want to help get Kirsten to basically help me like hype it up and like talk to people in the chat box and get people to share it out to their social medias. I want to look and see how easy it is to share it to your social media from YouTube. I don't think it's hard. But my goal is to have a premiere at 6 p.m. And then while it's premiering at 6 p.m., I want people to be sharing off to their social media so that we'll get more people to draw into the documentary. That is the goal, that is the plan, and that would be optimal. So we will see how that progresses. I'm really, really excited for it though. So basically what's gonna happen, a bunch of people are gonna share it. And then in the next 48 hours, we're gonna pick three people that are subscribed to the YouTube channel that have shared the documentary. We're gonna give them a year long membership free. So that's that. After that, with Iron Energy, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing 365 for 365. And we're going to promote that for the next week and a half. And basically, we're going to get people to sign up for the gym online. And we're going to test our new like online portal for signups and, and etc. And we're basically going to send them a message and enroll them online. And so Cole has designed like a basically like a, a script to, you know, walk people through the process online. I've designed the type form, I've got the ad up, and then I'm gonna be promoting it all week. And so that is the goal is to get people to, you know, get into the gym online. Not a lot of people have done online gym membership sales, but I'm an online business coach. That's what I do. So we need to take the skills that we teach our trainers and put it in our gym, and then we'll be able to teach that out. Which leads me to my next thing, which is franchising. We wanna franchise Iron Energy Gym. That is really the goal is we wanna take Iron Energy Gym and we wanna make it into a franchise. And with the amount of knowledge and skill sets and like abilities that we have, like I really do think that like we could take this thing to the next level. And so having a franchise where people can buy into the franchise and they get their own gym and then they give us a, a monthly uh, fee and then they get to be a part of the gym is like, that's really the goal here. And so that's going to be the next big move. I'm really, really excited for that. And, uh, and I want to get that done before March, 2023. So I'm going to work on that and make sure that gets up and running and just basically like get that off the ground. I'm super, super, super pump for that. So that's Iron Energy in a nutshell. Other than that, we're planning the grand opening. Um, I've got Christy doing a lot of the Iron Energy stuff. So really a lot of it is off my plate. Um, the stuff that I'm worried about right now is marketing and making sure that people come into the gym. Once people are there, Christy's handling the operations. Brett Wyatt is handling the operations. Like they're doing a really good job at handling the gym. So my job essentially is promoting this documentary, getting people to watch the documentary, getting people excited about the documentary. And also I'm going to be filming for the next documentary on Friday. And I'm going to make sure that it's juicy so that like people are excited to watch it. Like I'm gonna tell the in-depth actual story of Iron Energy, like what happened to us. So we've got documentary part one and then we've got part two, which is like basically all the free BC stuff. When that stuff comes out, it's gonna be legendary. So I'm gonna go do an interview on Friday for that documentary and I'm gonna be like highly engaged, highly present, ready to go. I'm gonna be all into making sure that that is like 
pop it. So that's iron energy. Let's sideline that. Now let's move on to PT domination. PT domination is honestly going super well, the Mindset Month of PT Domination for all of our students is absolutely amazing. There's so many students in Mindset Month that are crushing it. I've got Janelle Wheel that's really helping us out. Uh, Caleb Zisk that's really helping us out. He wants to really step into that like leadership role in terms of like the Mindset Month, which I'm really, really excited about. The Million Dollar Mastermind is going amazing. Natasha has really stepped up into like a more of like a head coach role, which is amazing. Me, Natasha, and Cole talked about bringing Natasha in as an actual partner of the Million Dollar Mastermind. So um, that's really, really exciting because she's just a powerhouse. She's just a powerful human and I'm excited to be working alongside her more. Dawn's doing well. Christine Cardenas is doing well. So Heat Domination, the Mastermind is doing extremely well. The Million Dollar Mastermind Month is doing extremely well. The Academy needs some work in my eyes. So I just went into the Academy and I saw that there was a couple hours where posts hadn't been responded to in a while. And so right now I'm on my team and I'm like guys like what are we doing here like what's going on I think we need to design a system where students are getting responded to faster because yes it's only a couple hours but to me that makes a big difference like if somebody asks a question I want them to be answered by not only our coaches but our community members like I want our community members to contribute more and so it's my job to make sure that the culture in the group is more supportive and encouraging I think that's really important for me to talk about and really important for me to like make sure this is happening inside of the coaching community. So I want to make sure that, that happens on a, on a consistent and regular basis. I just want to make sure that we are taking care of our clients. And uh, I saw in the group that it didn't look like we were. So I need to make sure that I do a better job at coaching our coaches on the expectations and the culture and the community and what we're really looking for at a PT domination. So to change lives Academy, I think could use some work. And so I'm going to be working on that this week with my leaders and figuring out what we need to fix in order to make the entire experience better as a whole. Let's talk about getting more clients into the program. So getting my account disabled, you guys getting be fit disabled sucked. And it hasn't really been the same since I've got it back, to be honest with you. Like it's like decent and there's a lot of people. I think the reason the account does so well is because the podcast is so popping. And so because the podcast is popping, like there's so many people that have like known about Be Mark Fit for so long. And so like I'll have people that'll message me and be like, they've been following me for two years and then they like, then they message me. So like that is why it does do well. I've like done giveaways where I get like a bunch of followers from different countries. And the way that the algorithm works is like when you have a bunch of followers, but not a lot of them engage with you, like, your content doesn't get shown to a lot of people. And honestly, if I could go back and time I would never ever ever do a giveaway where you like pay a thousand dollars and then an influencer puts you in the giveaway and they make you follow they make their followers follow you and then they and their followers win an iPhone if I could go back in time I would never do that and that's like why I'm excited to build real Brian mark because it's like the account that I'm building like just organically and that feels really good because I'm just like pushing myself to build that account organically and honestly that's probably the thing that I'm doing that's the most exciting right now is building the real Brian mark organically and I have to discipline myself to make sure that I'm not doing that at all hours of the day because really I could do that all day like that makes me super happy so yeah PT domination I need to fix my lead flow problem and so I just found a new system for Facebook I found out a new way to generate leads on Facebook so I'm gonna start um, experimenting with that and that's organically we're also doing a four-day challenge right now so I'm doing a four-day challenge for PT domination it's called four clients for spring so we're running that challenge Cole and I have a live stream tomorrow so I'm super excited for that because we're like generating leads for PT domination with a four-day challenge which is good beyond that you know I've got B mark fit is posting once I'm posting once a day on there posting my stories consistently. Then I'm also building the real Brian Mark because I feel like the account, the real Brian Mark has more organic potential. My goal is to post three times per day on the real Brian Mark. So that's what I'm working on right now. And I wanna post two to three times a day on TikTok. Ideally three times a day on TikTok would be optimal. So I think I need to start getting better at spacing myself on TikTok to make sure that I'm posting at the right times consistently. So that's that. Now in terms of like my content strategy, I do have my guy, Daddy Dan, helping me manage the content. And I gave him a job description last week week, but I want some things changed on it. So I'm gonna have to do that on Sunday. So like my job is to make sure that Daddy Dan is doing the things that are gonna save me time, but also make me money because I don't want him just like doing stuff just to do stuff. Like I want him to like do stuff that's actually gonna benefit the business. And so just figuring out what that looks like. I'm still in the process of like figuring out what Daddy Dan's role is. Besides helping me film these YouTubes, which Daddy Dan, I know you're gonna watch this and I appreciate you. So on the content side of things, B Mark Fit is posting two times a day. Iron Energy Gym, I'm basically running every day as well. Uh, the Real Brian Mark, I wanna post on there three times a day. I wanna start posting on TikTok three times a day. And I'm posting at least one Facebook reel and one Facebook business page reel per day. So that's content and one YouTube per day and one podcast per day. And I'm going live on Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn once per day. So that's content. All this content, the purpose is to generate more leads for my coaching business. So I'm figuring out ways to optimize it. And like my goal is to basically make content that goes like gets seen by my ideal 
client and also goes viral. That's really the goal. I want my content to get to a point where it's like so good that it goes viral consistently. And so I wanna to continue to work on my content until it gets to that point. And that's organically, that's my strategy right now. So that's organic. In terms of ads, uh, ads is something that I wanna start dialing into. So those of you guys, you might not know this. I do have an ads manager. I pay him about $5,500 a month just to run my ads. So he runs my Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and YouTube ads, which I just started. And so he asked me for a new set of ads, which this is what, this is now we're getting to the stuff that I need to work on. He asked me for a new set of ads. So I need to basically create a new funnel, which is like create a new offer, like something to give away for free in an advertisement. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a, um, I've done a 40 challenge before where it's four clients in four days. And the first day is like attraction. The second day is DMs. The third day is sales. And the fourth day is what to put in your offer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably just gonna give that away in, as an ebook. So I wanna go find day one, day two, day three, day four. I wanna go find those trainings. And then I'm gonna combine them into like a one page Google doc. And I'm gonna turn it into a PDF and I'm just gonna do that. So I take that one page PDF. I have a, a graphic designer on staff that I'll probably be able to like hit for a 40, like 24 hour timeline. He's usually pretty good with that kind of stuff. And then what I'll do is I also need to take that same information and create a video for it. So I don't want to create a slideshow because like I just, <laughs> I just don't want to create a slideshow. Creating a slideshow takes so long, but I need to create a video, like a training video to teach people how to do the thing. So I think what I'll do is day one will be how to write a piece of content. So I'll actually take the content template and I'll write a piece of content with it. And then uh, day two is DM script. So I'm just going to like walk them through how to use the actual DM script and teach them why it works. Then day three is the phone script. So I'll explain to them why it works. And then day four is the offer template. So I'll explain the offer template and like what it looks like. And then at that point they can literally go out and they can sign a client. So that's what I'm going to do for my challenge. That's literally what we do for lead, my lead magnet. It's going to be cut tight how to land your next thousand dollar fitness client in the next seven days without using paid ads. So I'm gonna give away a free ebook and then people are gonna download the ebook. I think it's like, it usually costs about three to five bucks for them to download the ebook. And then right after they download the ebook, it's gonna to go to a landing page. And on that landing page, it's gonna say, hey, thanks for downloading the ebook. Here's a free 15 minute training that's gonna show you exactly how to use it. And then I'm just gonna go over the first 50. Now that I'm talking about this out loud, I'm not gonna get a fancy landing page or anything like that built, I'm just gonna do a, or I mean a fancy ebook. I'm just gonna do a, a Google Doc and then get that designed as a ebook and then I'm gonna do a video explaining the ebook. That's literally all I'm gonna do. And then for anybody that's interested, like if you're interested in the content of this ebook and you got you got a lot of value from it, what I want you to do is I want you to shoot me a message on Facebook and say like more clients and I'll send you some more information on how I can help you. So that's gonna be my Facebook thing. So that's what I need to do. That's literally what I'm gonna do right after I finish this ramble with you guys. So that's the Facebook thing. The last thing that I need to do and I think I'm actually gonna do this before the Facebook thing or after? I'm gonna do it after because it's lower on the priority list in terms of things that I need to get done, is we're gonna be opening the Million Dollar Mastermind. So Million Dollar Mastermind is gonna be open for enrollment in April for Evergreen, but it's the middle of the month and I still have lots of time and Facebook is top priority, so I'm gonna tell Britzy that I'm gonna do the Million Dollar Mastermind stuff tomorrow and I wanna do the Facebook stuff today. I basically have to oversee what's been done with the Million Dollar Mastermind, which is a project that my team has been working on, basically creating an onboarding process with making making it more automated and less one-on-one uh, -on -one in terms of like how we bring clients into the program. So that's something that my team designed that I need to look over and apparently it's very in depth. So I think I've been stressing about it because I'm like, I don't have the time <laughs> to look it over. <laughs> I've been doing so much So yeah. I think that's it, I think that's it. So Iron Energy Gym really like, it is taking care of itself. At this point, all I need to do is promote the documentary and after the documentary is promoted and we're, I wanna get 100 people to tune in. I wanna get 200 people watching the documentary while it's premiered, that's the goal. And then if I can get 100 people to share it to their social media, that'd be sweet. So that's what I wanna do for Iron Energy. And then after that, what I wanna do is I wanna start promoting the 365, 365. My goal would be to enroll 100 members before we open. I think that'd be dope. So that's what I wanna do with that. With PT Domination, my biggest goal is to figure out this new system for organic lead gen that I just found. So I wanna figure that out. I actually outsourced that to a team member and I said, figure this out and we're gonna talk about it tomorrow. And then I need to basically get clear on what my role is for Daniels. I'm not gonna do that this right now. I'm gonna do that this weekend. I just know that some things need to change. So I will take a look at that this weekend. But the biggest project that I need to work on is creating that training called How to Land Your Next Thousand Dollar Fitness Client, which I'm gonna do right after this. And creating that and getting it sent off to my graphic designer so you can make me an ebook. And then creating a video showing people how to actually use the information that's in the ebook. Yeah. Guys, that's it. That's all. That's all I got. Cool. That actually helped me. So 
That's all that information was just sitting in my brain and now it's now it's out. So thanks for listening. That brings us to the end of today's episode. Hopefully you got some value. I'm sure that there's tons of stuff in there that you can learn from. So number one piece of actionable value is like, of course, there's a lot of projects that I'm working on and big time players make big time plays. If you want to do big things, you got to get out of your comfort zone and like right now I'm in a place in my life where like I'm just grinding and uh, I'm waking up early pushing myself and then throughout my day I'm like there's a lot of work that I'm doing and I'm also turning off by a certain time so tonight at 5 p.m. my boy Cole is coming over I'm gonna do a movie night so that's it that's all guys hopefully you got some value make sure you like comment subscribe tell a friend about this channel on Chase Your Dreams let's go